Hey guys, Trent here from How to Haven, back again with another ChatGPT tutorial, and today I'm going to show you how to make ChatGPT write you an essay. Uh, and by that I mean an essay you can use for school, or whatever really. And there's really two things to keep in mind, and one is you want to give ChatGPT the information that you have available. So, if you have a prompt, give it the prompt. If you have instructions, give it the instructions. If you have Relevant, inf relevant information, give it that relevant relevant information, whether that's from a textbook or whatever. Give it whatever you can. Uh, I also suggest if you have an essay grading rubric, rubric to give it that as well. Uh, and then second, I would just remember, you got to kind of talk it through the process. Um, you can't just ask it to write an essay and then use the first thing it gives you because it's going to be bad and you have to fine tune it. And trust me, this is so much faster than actually writing it yourself. Um, and I'm just going to take you through a conversation I had, just in the interest of saving you time, so you don't have to watch me type stuff, that I had to make it write an essay for me. Um, and we're going to be using a practice ACT essay. Um, and so the first thing I did was give it instruction. So for this, it actually has instructions right here. It asks us to write a unified, coherent essay, blah, 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 blah. So I copied this, boom, and then I pasted it into ChatGPT right here. And then I asked it, to use a prompt from which to write the essay with the given instructions right here. And I asked it to choose whichever perspective it wants because the test asked you to take a perspective. So the next thing I did was give it the prompt, which is down here. So this is what it asked you to do. This is a little bit of information, and these are the perspectives. Just like this, copy, paste in the chat GPT down here, and you can see it here, boom, blah, blah, blah. And then this is what it gave me. Now, first thing you see is as an AI language model, terrible, we don't want that. And then it doesn't really do what I asked. It kind of just talks about the different perspectives, um, which is a problem. And I find at this step, you can either give it more instruction, but the, what I find to be most effective is to give it a sample of something that's already known to be good. So here, next thing I'm going to say is, Rewrite it as if you are human, because it didn't, it, it rewrote it, wrote it as if it was an AI. And next I'm going to ask it not to repeat any phrases and to use varied language. I find this is really helpful, just for making your essays sound better. Uh, and then next I tell it I'm going to show you the perfect essay to draw inspiration from. I don't want it to copy anything from the essay, and I only want it to use the essay to understand how it should write its own. And then I give it the sample. Um, so the sample we can actually, it's given to us by this website, the ACT, um, and a 6 is the best score. So we're just go down here and I literally just copy pasted this essay right here, boom, paste it into ChatGPT as you can see here. And I did this to kind of give it an understanding of how a good essay on this topic should be written. Um, you could do this too for whatever your topic is, not necessary. Uh, you really don't need to do this if you give it enough information. In this case, there's no information. You know, it's not like about a historical figure or whatever. You just have a very small few sentences. So it's really necessary to give it some more context. Um, but like, for example, you could give it the notes you have or if there's a sample essay your teacher gave you or whatever. Uh, and next, it's going to spit out this. And this is uh, much better because it gives a summary first of... Uh, what we want to talk about, then it gives an opinion, then it kind of compares with another opinion, and um, then it kind of summarizes, basically. Um, only problem being it's too short, so I'm just going to ask to make it a bit longer and more unique. It's always important, I think, to ask it to make it more unique in almost every prompt you give it, just because the more unique it is, the better. And um, I also didn't really feel like it took its own perspective well enough, so I just wanted to remind it to take its own perspective. And here it spits out a much better uh, essay, if you can see right here. Um, so at this point, there's a lot of other things you can do. Um, so I would first check it as you should check everything it outputs. And the big flag here is as an AI language model, uh, we, we don't want it to be an AI language model. Um, ChatGPT has a really short memory. Um, so you have to kind of remind it a lot of of uh, what to do, uh, and just you know it's it's kind of annoying, but it's just something you have to do. It's really easy to fix, and now it's going to spit out a equally good essay. 
uh, but not as an AI model. Um, and again, it's not perfect. So you can either at, you can keep asking it to um, reformat itself, which is definitely something I would do. So like for example, uh, I would say this is a, another red flag. I could just change it to as a human. I would say please don't say as a human and rewrite it. Um, I'm not going to do that because at this point it's it's actually quite good for our purposes. Uh, the only issue is as a human, so I'm I'm just going to delete that myself. Um, and you actually have an essay that not only sounds good, it answers the, it satisfies the prompt that's given to you. Um, you can just read this. It uh, you know, it takes a, a, a position, it compares against one, and then it it summarizes as the prompt asks. Um, so this is really basic, obviously. Uh, if you have a bit more complicated of an essay, say you need to use quotes, or you need to um, have sources. So I would say, so say you you don't have uh, you have your own sources. You can't really ask ChatGPT to format it because it can't access URLs. You actually have to go to this URL and you have to paste it into ChatGPT to uh, to make it format it, which it, it only like kind of works sometimes, so it's not perfect for that, but you can actually ask it for sources. So right here, I'm going to ask it for some URL sources. You should ask it like that if you want URL sources. Um, and it'll actually give you some sources, but it's only current up to 2021 of September. Uh, and you have to check because sometimes they don't work and sometimes they're actually not even about um, the topic. But here's, for example, this one is, is a good source. And uh, if you actually get the source from ChatGPT, you can ask it to format it for you um, as such, uh, which is really convenient. Uh, and then say you want to use this quote by Jonathan Grundin in your essay right here. You can copy it into ChatGPT, paste it, and ask it to rewrite the essay using the quote. So that gives you kind of an idea. If you have a bunch of quotes from a book you have to use, give it all the quotes and ask it to incorporate it in the essay. Um, then it'll spit something back that is a bit different, um, but it incorporates that quote into it. And then again, you can just kind of reformat, et cetera, et cetera. Anyways, guys, I hope this video helped. Just, you know, kind of, you have to mold every essay to your own individual project. But by prompting ChatGPT over and over again, you can really get something that is great and um, really just way quicker than any human could do it. Anyways, guys, I hope this helped. Peace.